Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. It's been about a year since I made this video Easy Hell Tech ESP32 LoRa OLED setup in the Arduino IDE. And if you look down below in the comments, someone indicates that the procedure's been updated. So this video is going to be about two things. First, preparing the Arduino IDE to work with the Helltech ESP32 LoRa board. And we're also going to hook that GPS module from my last video to this Helltech ESP32 LoRa board because I simply have never done that before. So let's go. So in the Arduino IDE, you're going to begin by clicking on File, Preferences, and then under Additional Board Manager URLs, you're going to want to expand out that window. You want to hit Enter and put this resource helltech.cn URL on its own line and click OK. When you do that, you'll see it show up in the list with a comma in between each of the entries. You might have other entries on the list like the Espressif URL for ESP32. You click OK. Then you're going to go to Tools, Board, Board Manager, and in the Board Manager, you start by typing Helltech ESP32. And when that shows up on the list, you go ahead and install it. Next, you're going to go to Sketch, Include Library, and Manage Libraries. And again, with the Library Manager opens up, you're going to search for Helltech ESP32 and install that library. Next, you're going to go to Tools, Board, and in the Helltech section, you're going to want to pick the correct board. In my case, I've got the Wi-Fi LoRa 32 V2. I can tell because the V2 is stamped right next to the antenna port on the board. You're also going to want to select the correct COM port. Now, we can check out some of the examples. So we're going to load up the example OLED LoRa Sender and OLED LoRa Receiver, and you'll see the familiar Hello Packet 1, Hello Packet 2, etc. I just want to make sure the radios are working. First, you want to make sure you've selected the correct frequency for your region. In my case, it's the 915 megahertz. One thing I noticed here in the code when you're setting up the transmitter, you can actually adjust the signal strength between 0 and 20 decibels. Here's something to make note of in case you want to set it all the way to full power. You can set it to 20. The example code was set to 14 by default. Now we're going to hook it up to the GPS module. Okay, let's look at how this is wired together. So first, on the GPS module, from right to left, you have VCC, ground, receive, and transmit. So let's look at how those connect to the Helltech ESP32 LoRa board. We see VCC goes to the 5-volt pin and ground goes to ground. Then pin 2 on the LoRa board is received, so it gets hooked to transmit on the GPS unit, and pin 17 is transmit on the Helltech board, and it gets hooked to receive on the GPS module. So now, let's look at the code. We're going to be working with this tiny GPS library. You can get that on GitHub. Look for the link down below. But we're going to have to modify it a bit. The first thing I encountered right out is that ESP32 devices don't work with software serial library. So I had to come up with an alternative solution. So I've commented out every reference to software serial from this original sketch. We keep that tiny GPS, GPS reference there. And then here I'm defining serial to begin, 9600 baud, serial 8 and 1 with a receiver port of 2 and a transmit port of 17 and we start up our USB serial port. Wait a second to make sure everything starts up. You can see I've commented out that SS begin which was part of the software serial definition. So everything related to software serial has been commented out and we're going to work with serial 2 that we've defined here. And you see 
we just use this section of code here where we pull serial 2 for GPS data. Make sure to compare this with the original sketch so that you can see the difference. All of the links will be down below in the description. Of course, I'll have a link to my GitHub site where I'll have a copy of this device example code posted that you can copy as well. And you can see here, we've got a fix, we've got the date, we've got the time. This is all working great. So stay tuned for the next video when we're going to do a mashup between the OLED LoRa sender sketch and this tiny GPS device example sketch. Thank you very much. So make sure to check all the links in the description down below. Please subscribe, check out some of these other videos, and thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.